And I don't stray too far from whey proteins. So if I like a protein, I mean... I'm impressed. I'm strongly impressed. Welcome to Price Plow. What's happening, Price Plow Nation? And Ben. Wait, what? that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> this is Mike and Ben, and we're here, and we are getting jazzed up on coffee. And Ben... I'm already jazzed up on that. Yeah. There was a lot of caffeine in that. That worked out well for us. So this is... From your neck of the woods, because oh, yeah. in our hands we have Rich Gaspari's new Gaspari Nutrition Proven egg. Proven egg. And when I put this up, you're supposed to put your. Oh, egg. sorry, I didn't want to cover the whole. Thing. We, oh, yeah, that's fine. Well, we have two flavors. That's the cool. whole point of this exercise right here. And so, do you know Rich at all, or have you done so, them? Or? I didn't want to say this with real on the camera. I didn't want to let you know. Ooh. But last year, yeah. on the way home, I hope you watch this, Rich. On the way home from the Arnold, this is a good. This is not a bad thing. This is a good thing. Uh, I sat next to him on the plane home from oh, the Arnold. Sweet. So it was hilarious because, like, we just left the Arnold Classic in Columbus, mm -hmm. Ohio. Like, I'm a 260-pound man. I sit down next to uh, next to Rich Gaspari. Like, Rich Gaspari has to know that I know who he is, mm -hmm. right? Right. Like, yeah. Right. I have muscles. I know who Rich Gaspari is, mm -hmm. right? I sat down next to him. I was like, "How was your weekend?" Yeah. <laughs> I, we sat on a three-hour flight. I didn't say once that I knew who he was. We didn't talk about training, nutrition, or anything. Mm -hmm. Just bullshitted. Awesome. And it was like, I felt he like it was like refreshing, yeah. right? Like, right. like how, how you sit next to like Rich Gaspar, like one of the greatest bodybuilders of all mm -hmm. time and like not be like, yo, how do you build your biceps? You know? And right. Really nice guy. So That's I, all, yeah. yeah, I met him once. So nice. yeah, I, I am a big fan of Rich. He's always been super nice. And I don't know, I kind of feel like we have like this little Italian connection sometimes going on. <laughs> but you know, he's great. But let me tell you, if you've ever like gone to the Arnold or on the flight back, like get ready. Like if you're someone my size, like just get ready to be sandwiched between two monsters <laughs> on the plane and try not to get a middle seat because yep. those flights in and out of Columbus that weekend, like regular people need to be like, dude. What in the hell's going on here? Yeah. I had one flight where, so we, we fly from Jersey there on the, these tiny little Embraers, yeah. and they had to move us around on the flight to distribute the weight. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you start to get a yeah. bag up front. Uh, that's awesome. So this is a big deal because, uh, not just the product, but the whole thing. This is our first time talking about Gaspari Nutrition oh, on cool. the channel since Rich has like repurchased the brand. Mm -hmm. So he was working, and Jared Weed of High Tech Pharmaceuticals own half the brand. I honestly don't know all the details or anything, but Rich is back under full control as far as I know, or at least like full enough control that it's time for him to yeah. rip it out and start doing some new products. And Rich is back. I, yeah. And so Rich is back again. And what we have here though is the 100% egg white protein, proven egg. Mm -hmm. And we have two different flavors. What flavor do you have? So I get salted caramel, which and I'm I, actually really excited for. Yeah. That's and good. I have chocolate. And if you look at these ingredients, it is like really basic. First off, we're dealing with 110 calories, 25 grams of protein, two carbs in this one. I believe you have one, one carb in that yeah. one, and no fat. So you're talking about ultra clean. I have like egg whites, sunflower less than the cocoa, a little bit extra chocolate flavor, and stevia, and yeah. that's it. Like there is not yeah. a whole lot of nonsense in here. This is gonna be eggs and and flavor and stevia. I'm excited. I I, I eat a lot of eggs. Nice. But yeah. like I mean, out of convenience, right? Like you crack mm -hmm. them, cook them, eat them. Mm -hmm. It's easy. But like mix them. That's way even faster. You know, right. So, and uh, as I've gone higher protein, and, I'm, and right now I'm in a point where I'm keeping fat down, I've actually gone back to having some egg whites. So I'm like, oh, there you go. Perfect timing right now. Yeah. But not everyone, yeah, not everyone believes that. And I, of course, love whole eggs, but sometimes, yeah, the egg, egg whites is an easy way to get yeah. very bioavailable protein in. And they kind of talk about some of that where they're showing, like, they have the, uh, the biological value here yeah. of eggs, and everyone knows that eggs is 100%. Or it's a, the, 100%, the biological it's a, value. Yeah, 100, yeah right. biological value. And uh, so everyone likes that. Some people are egg sensitive, but I think a lot of things that are happening is uh, as we get a little bit older, and, and that's why we brought Ben on the channel, so he can handle oh like, some blood. of that nastier whey, whey protein. But some of us, as we get older, though, we realize, like, oh, man, I, I had to try a month without dairy and, like, get away from the dairy for a little bit. And some of yeah. us are starting to get a little bit gassy as we age with dairy. And once you remove dairy, you start to run out of as many right. options because everything is a whey protein shake. Yeah. And that's where this is kind of a really good target. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a target that's, it still like doesn't taste terrible, hopefully. It doesn't taste terrible, right? Like yeah. we tried one yesterday that didn't have whey in it and like I was on a fan. Right. So like once you get away from whey, like the quality, mm -hmm. you, know, you don't know about the quality of value, you, you talk about like, plant protein stuff, you gotta mix them together, get those complete proteins, and then like, just flavor-wise, I mean, I'll drink anything if, it, if it'll work, right? But right. Like, there is a level where it's like, how much is this worth to me? Right, yeah. So. 
Well, let's find out. So yeah, the water, they want four to eight ounces. We have a 34 gram scoop. I am gonna cool. do a mini scoop way out right here. Ben, you can entertain the channel while I'm doing this scoop way out. What do you think? So you're talking about uh, sensitivity to eggs. Yeah. One of the things for me is like, I'm not sensitive to eggs in general, mm -hmm. but like I have a level where like, I can eat, eat 10 egg whites and I'm good, uh -huh. right? Like 10 eggs. I used to eat hard boiled eggs every day. It was an easy way for me to meal prep because I could cook a ton of them at a time, throw them in a Tupperware, bring them to work with me. Mm -hmm. But like once I get up to like a dozen in, a, in like 12 hours, yeah. like that was like the limit. Like all of a sudden the gas started happening. And oh really? Yeah, I think, I, I don't know, I, I, we, we talk about like, you know, balance and mm -hmm. not like the, too much of a good thing, mm -hmm. right? So like, right. it was just like, hey, you know, just protein in general, like vary your sources every here and there. Or find something that agrees with you. Like I can eat beef all day; it doesn't bother me. But right. like, eating a dozen eggs probably was. We should take on hard-boiled eggs because Jill and I are not exactly fans in the flavor-wise or what sensitivity-wise. Well, you know what? Anytime I had issues with eating too many eggs, it was from hard-boiled eggs. Yes, yes. So. <laughs> I can eat two hard-boiled eggs. I don't think you want me eating like two hard-boiled eggs. Yeah. By the way, chocolate's gonna be in the bullet. And so the scoop way out was uh, is that 35 grams? I leveled it off. It was a. Uh, yeah, make sure you level off your scoop and it's going to be perfectly fine. I had a big old heaper and that was a bad idea. So, let's just... That's, that's a funny... I wonder what happens when you, when you hard boil them. I don't know. It's almost like there's more sulfur that comes out of it or something. Like, that, I, I, exactly I have no idea. But that's the smell that I got. <laughs> yep. Dude, if you eat a dozen... Yeah, very... The very just easy to snack on, mm -hmm. right? And, like, so for me, like, I don't want to eat protein. That, like, I eat carbs, salt, fat all day. Like, I don't crave protein. Mm-hmm. But egg whites from hard boiled egg, like I can. Ooh. Oh yeah, that was gotta... close one. That was just covered that's, in your. That's new to shaker cups. He's never used a shaker cup before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna blow it up. That was. That one, yeah. That, so yeah, all my shakers <laughs> are getting, getting a little bit nasty. So we have these little cups here, dude. That looks just like a rich chocolate. All right. Need... Well, I'm gonna say that it doesn't look like salted caramel. But what did you expect? You're going to have to pour me a little more than that. I will. I will. But that's salted caramel. Too. Oh, okay. You expected a darker color. They're not adding any colors to this, though. So. Huh. Are they? No. Yeah. I mean, I'm... I mean, do, does caramel flavoring... It's... Do, I mean, it's I don't care about the color, right. personally, once again, but... Okay, so let's start with... We want to start with chocolate or something? Caramel. Let's go with caramel. All I mean, right, salted caramel. Works. I caught the egg right away, yeah, and then the flavor masked it, and then I got a little bit of egg on the way by. Yeah, by. I, not bad. I'm not bad. Yeah, for what they're doing, and, uh, no stevia. I, I guess the stevia is to the point where I almost don't even need to mention it. it Maybe there's you stevia. Could, this? Yeah, that's the stevia. There's no sugar. <laughs> that's good. Left. Yeah, I hate stevia. Like as a whole, like I always get a bite. So and now I'm left with caramel at this point after one sip. So like there's kind of four yep. phases: egg, caramel. A little bit of egg, and now I'm back on caramel for Do myself. Do you get an egg texture, though? Because to me, like, that thickness reminds me of egg more than the flavor. No, no okay. it gets in your head. <laughs> I like it. I could drink this. This is good, especially given the stevia part of things. Like, that's where I was concerned. And we'll see with the chocolate. Because chocolate and stevia, almost all the time I don't like it. And then mm -hmm. once in a while, I do mm -hmm. love it. Now, do they... So it's a little bit foamy. It's like, oh, did everyone see my sticker? <laughs> yeah. My advice. Everyone's doing it. So a little bit of foamy in, in there, and I almost like that. You get a little bit of the less it than to thicken things up. This is this is really enjoyable. Like I'm adding this to the to the staple. I, we yeah. get, so this was sent for free. We have no ongoing business relationship with Gaspar Nutrition. Gotta say that. But um, back in the high tech days, yeah, we were doing some stuff back then. Yeah. So past business relationship. At the end of the day, uh, I'm a big fan of Gaspari, and I was a little bit worried about this. This stuff is like... Oh, I like this a lot. So, yeah, so what I was going to say is, yeah, we, I get a lot of stuff sent for free, and you will too a lot. This is going into the staple. Yeah. Like, not everything goes into the, the, the using staple. This is for sure. They put just enough sunflower that's thin in it that it's like, it's just thick enough. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not too thin. It's not too thick. Because that's, that's like, like, again, I will drink anything if it works, but optimal for me, mm -hmm. I like something just right down the middle. Not thick, thick. Like, some people really like thick shakes. Yeah. Some people were like thin shakes. And they say four to eight ounces of water, so we did six. I was I was I was I wasn't sure what was gonna come out of forty eight ounces. Like right. that could be very, very thick. Mm -hmm. This it's is just right. I like this a lot. Yeah. And I, I took a, like a sip of the bubbly just to see how that worked out. And it was like 
That was good too. I'll tell you what though, if you put four ounces in this, I mean, mm -hmm. you could slam 25 grams of protein quick. Easy. Right, like that's yeah. an easy way to get that into your system. Yeah. If you're really going high protein. This is an easy way to cheat for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. You could double up, I bet. I would love yeah. to know what two scoops taste like. You're about to have your second scoop right now. Let's go. Oh. Not as good for me. Really? I like, I like it. that better. You do? Yeah. I'm getting one of these. Uh, I, I get more stevia. I, I have more stevia mixed in with the cocoa. Don't get me wrong. I like it. Okay, so... I get more stevia. I get a little bit more egg. I did like the chocolate up front, though. I got hit yeah. with chocolate first, which I liked. So I'm a salt person. We've talked about this a little bit this weekend. Mm -hmm. That's saltier than the salted caramel. And I like that a lot. I like salted actually. chocolate. This is yeah. salt, yeah. I, mean, I keep drinking it, so... Dude, I'm about it. And I don't stray too far from whey proteins. So if I like egg protein... Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. I'm strongly impressed. I think... I still think, yeah, if you, if you think you might like the salted caramel, it's not, it's not that salty, I guess. You're right. No, that's why I was very caramel. Yeah. I so, mean, there was salt to it. It has, it has uh, 380 milligrams of sodium, which is the same in both of them. Okay. I, okay, so if you really want, if you like salty stuff, though, it's actually the chocolate, not the salted caramel. But if you like caramel or like vanilla-y things, I think that's the way to go. Either way, though, these are for sure price ball approved. I'm like, oh, I'm stoked cool. for Rich right now. Like, this is, this is a good... This is, it's we're a good, entering a good phase here. I'm excited to see what else they got coming. He's putting a good foot forward, right, yeah. on this new phase. Like, yeah. I'm interested to see, uh, have they told you anything about, like, what's to come at all? I don't know anything. Cool. So, yeah, the Doug at the, uh, in the forums, they have a couple guys who are hanging mm -hmm. on the price off forums, and they're the ones That's who kind of hooked this up. Cool. But I'm not sure what they want to do. At some point, yeah, we got to get Rich on, or you can just go and meet him in person. Drive, dude. Drive, You're yeah. Like, yeah, we'll it's not up. too far of a drive, so... Awesome. All right, so Priceline.com slash Gaspari Nutrition is where you can sign up for alerts and check out the Proven Egg. We'll have some links in the description and everything. Overall, though, sign up for the alerts on Gaspari because I think they get a, they're they going to have a lot of stuff coming. And if this is any indicator, I'm excited. I'm on. All right, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, and give Ben a rating on a scale of 1 to 10 <laughs> on how his flavor anal Oof. analysis is Oof. going. <laughs> All right, thank you. We'll see you. Welcome to Price Plow.